The story that I'm about to tell you is a story of seven friends, and each one of them has a story to tell. What's up, everyone? Puli na ba ako? Will I get any sleep last night? Okay, come in, Kate. Hi, Ben! Hello! Puli na talaga ako? No, we're still waiting for Chloe and Loisa. Um, why don't we just start doing the task now? Yeah, I think Hi. we should. I'm sorry we're late. Oh, but can you get your cheer up, guys? <laughs> Well, let's start working. Okay, since this meetup is all about our entrepreneurship class project, do you guys have any business ideas in mind? I was thinking we could go for something aligned with the food industry. Well, that's good too, but that's just too common. Why don't we just go for something like, um, uh, never mind. Hey, just speak it out, Jolo. We don't have time for hesitations. I have an idea. Maybe we can go for something that would provide comfort in every home. Something that people don't realize they need. Home? Oh, there we go again. Did you say something, Chloe? No, go on. Well, that's just an idea. You can reject it. Why don't we just brainstorm on our own for a couple of minutes? Now that's a good idea. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot my tablet and my pen! Can I borrow yours instead, Ash? Uh, but I'm going to use mine as well. I'm trying to focus here, Chloe. Why don't you say Niwan? Pasensya ka na. Hi, I'm Chloe. I'm a student athlete. I practice hard every day. My daily training is actually meant to help me do well in my endeavors. But these days, I can't help but feel like I'm no longer making progress. I'm confused, restless, anxious. I can't seem to concentrate. Why? Hello, Ma? <laughs> Chloe, I need you to come home now. Home? I don't think I still have one. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm just a regular student. No clubs, no extracurricular activities, just pure academics. I'm not stressed out about this or anything, but lately, why do I feel like I'm feeling a sense of pressure rising within me? My parents praise me a lot. They look up to me. They feel proud of my achievements, and so does my distant relatives. I can't fail them. I need to work harder. But how can I? I can't seem to give it all with all this pressure coming. Hi, I'm Loisa. I'm, well, a fangirl, but I'm a good student, don't get me wrong. I have someone I like, I watch him day and night. Whenever I feel down and stressed on my school task, I see comfort in him, in his angelic voice. Listening to him makes me want to see him, to be with him. Yet, he doesn't even know I exist. After all this time, a sense of longing rises within me. I am no longer at peace. The comfort I once felt turned to obsession, to a deep longing. What should I do to heal myself? Hi, I'm Jolo. People see me as a mad genius, a scientific person, but really, I also hold hidden emotions. I've always felt like something was weighing me down, like something was depriving me of all the joys in the world. What? What do we do? All my review files are there, Jolo. The board exams will be ready next month. I always tried everything. It won't turn on. I've always felt no sense of value. 
it even seems like there's nowhere where I belong. And one day, that feeling became worse. Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel so worthless? Hi, I'm Jonah, a student. My relatives look up to me. They see me as a genius, someone capable of answering mathematical problems with ease. I want to keep helping people. I want to keep showing them that they can rely on me. But how can I keep on doing so? After some time, this burden that I feel in me has weighed even more. They're relying on me too much. I can no longer carry the load. This is too much, but I need to help them. But how? I too need help. Hi, I'm AJ. I'm an animal lover. Whenever I feel down and drained, they never fail to make me smile. But just a year ago, I lost someone special. She was our first indoor dog. She was moody, yes, but she was the sweetest of all. When we lost her, I too felt lost. I was frustrated. I was angry at myself. I couldn't even do anything to save her. All I could do was look at her as she laid and suffered. If only I could lend her my breath or breathe life to her, I would have done so. Hi, I'm Keith. I'm a student athlete. But these days, I've been trying to lean more toward my studies. I am a diligent student. I answer my modules day and night. I even sleep next to them. But after six whole weeks of doing all this over and over again, I realized something. This is not getting me anywhere. I don't think I can still carry on. Everyone else around me seem confident. They answer and learn these things on their own. Meanwhile, here I am, feeling like I am incapable of anything. Am I really capable of doing this? I don't think I can do this. Wala akong maisip eh. Yeah, me too. All I think are senseless. So ano? Kami na lang mag-iisip? Parang ganun na nga. Wala kami maisip eh. What do you want us to do? Everyone's been doing nothing all this time. Wait, I don't think that's right actually. What's going on? Oh, sige, Ash. Ikaw na magaling. Kayo na nga mag-isip. Ha! <laughs> Keep Jojo na. Papukulat pa kayo? That's not what I meant. Wala lang talaga akong mag-isip. Oh, ikaw, Keep. Tambel ka, tambel. Oh, come on. You haven't even done anything. Now, Keep is right. Ba't di ka na lang kayo ako eh? Oh, ba't niyo ako pinapaw eh? Wala na nga akong uuwi yan. It's a little cold in paradise tonight Love faded, I find a new form I write it out It's fine for now Then you come along and I cry Liberated, I'm seeing clearly now There's no turning These 
are all human emotions, and they're inevitable. They're a part of being human. We live with them. These emotions make us hate ourselves. They make us despise the idea of living another day. They weigh us down, and oftentimes. The load we carry on our shoulders is unbearable, and it's too hard for us to get back up. It's too hard to keep going. But you know what? So, what's your story? You're not alone. Just like that, without even knowing. They started sharing each other's burden. They started to carry the load together. Guilt, depression, frustration, sadness, and all the other emotions that weigh us down are there for a purpose. They're not meant to stop us, but to challenge us. They're not just meant to weigh our shoulders down. They're meant to strengthen them. So don't run away. All these emotions must not affect the way we live. To everyone who feels like they can't do anything, learn to accept the things you cannot change, and have the courage to change what you can. To everyone who works hard not to disappoint people, it's okay to rest for a little while. Remember that your own happiness is more valuable than others' approval. To everyone who loves someone who doesn't even know they exist, you heal over time. Somewhere, someday, we'll find joy in a place we never sought. To everyone who feels like they're worthless and a burden to everyone else, know that every one of us carries our own load. And I am certain that your sole existence is not weighing anyone down. You have no reason to feel worthless. You're worth more than you can imagine. To everyone who struggles to say no, remember that there are so many times and so many questions in the world where yes is not the right answer. If saying yes means saying no to your own happiness, you're making a mistake. Have the courage to stand for yourself. To everyone who feels like they're responsible for someone's lost life, know that no matter how much you blame yourself, you can no longer bring anyone back to life. However, remember that as long as you continue living, I know someday you'll have the power to save others. May it be their shattered dreams or their broken hearts, you have a chance to touch the lives of others. To everyone who feels that they are incapable of doing great things, believe in yourself. Change how you think of your capabilities. You have no idea how a simple change in mindset can change how your entire world works. To anyone who is in complete darkness right now, those are what it takes to see the light. Every one of us has a story to tell. We can all relate to all kinds of struggles in life, but if we face all of these head-on together, we'll realize we're not fighting alone. This is a story of seven friends, and each one of them has a story to tell. Their stories are a message from me to you. The sorrowful gust of wind that blew right between you and me. Where did it find the loneliness it carried on the breeze? Looking up at the sky after shedding a stream of tears. I could see for miles of blue. It's never been so clear.
Speeches that my father gave me would always make me despair Somehow I feel a warmth and comfort today Your ever kind heart, the way you smile And even how you find your dreams I knew nothing, so honestly I've always copied you Now just a little each person has an untold story. What's yours? <laughs>